Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I hope everybody is well um, and staying safe during lockdown. I'm just back today with a quick video as I haven't done one for about a week or so just to let you know how I'm getting on and what I've been up to during lockdown, how I've been filling my time in and mostly it's been in the garden. It's been quite nice weather up here in the northeast. Um, so I've spent a lot of time outdoors but I, I've, I'm actually going to show you how I've done my garden on a total budget um, obviously couldn't go out and buy new plants and pots and things like that that I would normally do this time of year so I've had to be really resourceful I've used lots of stuff that I already had um, paints that probably I would never ever have used again you know half tins of paint that normally go back into the shed and the next time they come out to go at the tip well I've kind of used all those up and I've mixed colours up um, that would match the garden and things like that um, I found some old fabric I had and I made bunton with that to go around the sheds. I've um, cut out some decals and some transfers to stick on the sheds and make signs to go in the garden just to add a little bit of colour really without sort of spending any money and going out and, and buying pots and plants and things. Um, and yeah, so I've done like loads of painting, like I mean loads of painting. Um, and what else have I used up? Oh, I bought some things from Poundland before we actually went into lockdown. So basically, that is kind of the most I've spent on the garden this year. So I thought I would just give you a quick little tour, let you see what I've been doing. And um, yeah, so let's do it. So unfortunately, it's not a very sunny today in Newcastle. It's quite cold, but I'll give you a little tour of the garden, show you what I've done. So I've made bunting right around the garden. As you can see, I've hung it on my shed, Michael's shed, and at the bottom of the garden. I also made some decals for my shed. A little bird cage. As you can see, I've done a lot of painting. I've painted all the decking, painted all the fence right around the garden. Um, and here I painted put some green that I had. Um, I think I had like a bright green and a white and I put a, maybe a bit of green or something to make it look duller. Used that. Barbecue has not been out this year, not used it. Uh, whilst I was out on my dog walk, I found this log in somebody's garden if I could have it. And they gave it so that is going to be for some up and coming projects in the future. Um, maybe Christmas projects or whatever i just need to make a slice as far as or i need a chainsaw or something but i'll get one so this little box i've had for maybe 15 years and it was just like green and moldy so i just used the pressure washer on it washed it down and i mixed up some colors i think it took about 10 colors of paint to get that dark brown color to match the sh well actually to match my shed my shed was already dark brown and then we painted michael's shed um also done the log burner just to match the the, the rest of the garden. I printed out those little bees um, and stuck those on them pots. I'm not so sure about the white area. I got that little heart of my son for Mother's Day um, with the blue purple flowers in. I picked up those little lanterns. They were like a pound each from Poundland. I put some decals on Michael's shed. Just moved down to the gravelled area. So I've printed out a bird cage and some little butterflies. Also put this decal on Michael Shares, um, which says the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts, which I find is very true. Also printed out this little sign, painted the picture frame with some colours I mixed up. Furniture I've had since last, well actually I've had it for about four years, the furniture. Um, put some, a butterfly on there, I painted that pot. Um, I made these pots over here. Um, I basically just soaked an old towel in some concrete cement and hung it over a bucket to dry and then that's how you get the sort of fluted shapes around the edges. I made, I bought that mirror from B&M's ages ago, I think it was about £2.50 and just stuck on some decals on there. I got these pots from Poundland and I've got those matching pots on the table from Poundland as well. Um, what else have I done? Um, I painted these little lanterns green and the pots and my poodles down there. 
uh, that taupey colour I also used on this pot over here and on the little, whatever it is, angel. Um, and I just cut out some decals for the lavender with it and painted the other little lan lantern to match that. Um, I got this pot of my brother and I just smashed it up and made a little... I don't know what it is, an angel, angel garden or something like that. Um, chairs my dad made us like years ago. Don't want to get rid of them. I had this mirror in the shed and I just painted it and stuck some decals on saying welcome to my garden. This is my little dog's up area that she goes to the toilet because I don't like her going out the bottom because the astroturf smells really bad. After she's kind of weighed on it, so if I do, if, I, if she does all her wigs in there, and then I, I've got the debt all there, and it's filled with soap flora, so I just spray that. Um, what else have I got? Punch bag, it hasn't been used this year. Um, and this is my memory tree from my mum and dad, and it's an apple tree, and it's blossoming at the moment. Um, so I'll get some little apples on there soon. Um, this light thing, I think I bought it off Facebook tube shop or something for £10 and that looks quite pretty when that's all lit up over night time and that is my little tour of my garden I think I've managed to put some colour in it and there's peaches as usual she always makes an appearance um, so I think I've managed to put some colour in the garden without spending a lot of money like I say, like the things I have bought were from Poundland and everything else I already had or it's stuff that was just sitting in the shed Um and mix the colours up then probably them tins of paint were destined for the tip and I've ended up using them up so I'm quite proud of myself for being so resourceful so that is the end of my video if you've enjoyed it please give me the thumbs up like and subscribe thanks for watching